Hey, what's up, internet? Right, um, so some donkey in our warehouse went and dropped a box full of Marcel soaps. Or some do Marcel, however you pronounce it. Um, so rather than wasting it, I thought I'd find another use for it. And so I'm going to show you guys how to make liquid soap from Marcel soap, or pretty much any blocks of soap uh, that you can get your hands on. Um, we have Marcel soaps that come in a few different varieties. The traditional recipes are the square blocks, which are... Uh, traditionally speaking either olive oil or beige palm oil depending on colour but we also have these fabulous flavoured ones that come in every possible flavour you can imagine and they're mixed with shea butter so we've got these broken up ones and we're going to make liquid soap which is super easy to do first thing you need to do is grind up the soap bars themselves uh, with a cheese grater um, I've got about a cup full here which should be enough for a demonstration um, if anyone knows of an easier way of grinding up soap, please, please let me know in the comments because this is a nightmare. I was tempted to throw it in a food blender, but I've got a feeling it would just break it. So if anyone's done this or knows a better way of doing it, please let me know. Um, so, yes, we have ground up soap, need some water, and uh, yeah, we're going to throw it in a pan. Cool, right, so once you've ground up the soap, however laborious that may have been, the rest of it's really, really plain sailing. Um, I've got ground up soap, or shredded soap, grated soap, don't know, and a cup of hot water. Uh, the recipe for this is really, really simple. Um, by weight rather than mass, if that makes sense, by weight rather than volume, sorry, um, you want about a one to one ratio. So, grated up soap is slightly lighter than water, so you're going to want slightly more soap than water, but you want roughly on a weight basis about a one to one mixture. All you then need to do is throw your soap into a pan with some boiling water. Let that heat up and I'll come back to it in a minute. Okay cool, so we're in the middle of cooking our nice Savon de Marcel soup. I hear it's a delicacy in France. Um, you want to make sure it gets warm enough to melt but you don't want to boil it. Um, if you overheat it, then you'll find, ironically enough, soap is one of the world's most difficult substances to clean off the bottom of a stainless steel pan. Um, you don't want it to simmer, you want it just before the point where it simmers. And if you're starting to get this froth on the top, that's normally an indication that you want to be very careful and maybe turn it down a touch. Um, but it will start to go a little bit lumpy for a while. don't know if you can see here. Um, but that's okay, once it's uh, warmed up a little bit, it will start to melt almost, and then we'll be on to the next step. Okay, right, so I poured in off camera because trying to hold a camera and pour boiling water just sounded like a health and safety nightmare, so I skipped that bit. Um, but basically, once it reaches a um, nice temperature after 5, 10, five to 10 minutes and it's been bubbling away for a while, uh, it will still be a little bit lumpy, but the lumps will get very soft, almost like a soft gelatinous texture. At that point, you just dump it in a food blender or processor. I don't have one of those, so we're using this juicer, which I'm hoping is going to do the same thing. And then you blitz it. You want to blitz it until you get a nice creamy texture. There's still a couple of lumps in this, so it's going to need to be stirred and done again. But just to show you what we've got, it starts to come into a nice creamy texture, like liquid cream soap. So we're nearly there. I'll finish this off, and then I'll show you the results. Aha. Right, so once it's been zipped up in the blender, I've poured it out into a clear glass, because I haven't had the uh, opportunity to reclaim any uh, used soap dispenser bottles. And you can see we've got a nice creamy consistency left. Um, and it's got, it's still a little bit warm, but it's got that perfect creamy texture of a nice liquid soap. Put that back. <laughs> so there you have it, that's how you make liquid soap. It works with almost any bars of soap you can get your hands on. Um, a lot of 
other recipes call for something like glycerin to be added to make it work. Um, if you're using the particularly the scented Savon de Marcel, uh, you don't need to. It's, it's got uh, shea butter added to it, which is like a natural moisturiser. Um, so that will suffice. You, you literally don't need any other additives. So you get yourself a nice sort of completely pure natural soap and you don't have to mess about with expensive recipes. Um, if you want any of this stuff, I'll drop a link in the description. If you want to see more videos, subscribe because hopefully we're going to be doing some more. Uh, lots of how-to and random information videos should be good. Um, if you know an easier way of grinding up soap, please let me know. You'll be a lifesaver. You do not understand how much soap I have to grind up. Um, yeah, other than that, if you want me to experiment with anything or have any crazy ideas, drop a comment and I'll see what I can do. I'll also put all of this stuff on our website, so you'll have a written description, uh, written, um, description of how to make it, should you want to. I'll uh, drop a link in the description for that as well. Alright, take care.